Are you a DBA and not quite sure about this Power BI thing? This one's for you. Hi, I'm Adam Saxon. Welcome to Guy in a Cube. Today we're going to take a look at what Power BI really is from a DBA's perspective. This topic came up when I was talking to a few folks at SQL Pass, and it really came about in the form of, look, I don't understand this whole modeling thing or the data model or measures, and I just want to create some visualizations, but I'm not sure how to do that when all I've got is SQL Server. And with that, like, how do I get up and running and be able to use this? quickly. So I just wanted to walk through really quick how you can get up and running with Power BI, even if you don't know anything about data modeling or data warehousing or business intelligence at all. So let's start with the data. And really when we talk about the data model and or you know data warehousing, data models, fact tables, dimensions, measures, really what this comes down to is we're gonna have some tables, we're gonna have some relationships, and based on that we can drag fields in to make visualizations. And as a DBA, you should be very familiar with tables and relationships. And we've got two options here. Either one, we can import the data into something like Power BI Desktop, or within Power BI Desktop, we can also do something which is called direct query, where we can actually create the model, which is effectively, think of that as the schema, and then we'll actually issue the live queries against our backend data source like SQL Server. Part of the conversation I had is, think about pivot tables in Excel. A lot of users use that. And so if your data is in a way that you can use it with pivot the tables, it should be usable within Power BI Desktop without a lot of adjustments. Your data is now in Power BI Desktop. There's a few more things we can do that are a little more fancy. One of those is calculated columns. If you've used those in SQL Server, it's pretty much the same concept within Power BI, except that you're going to create those with DAX expressions instead of T-SQL. You can also go with what's called a calculated measure, and a calculated measure is similar to a calculated column, except it's not in the scope of a column, it's in the scope of your table or your data set. If you want to learn more about calculated measures versus calculated columns, go ahead and check out this link. Marco Russo did a great job of going through both of those. You can even take this a step further. We introduced recently the ability to add calculated tables. And so the calculated table is something that we just do on the fly with a DAX expression. Here's a link from Chris Webb where he talks about what a calculated table is and why you'd even want to use one. The other thing you're going to do with your data model is adjust some of the metadata about the model model itself, so this could come down to what the data types are, as well as things such as categorization of columns. This can play heavily into things like regions or city, state, those types of items, which can affect the visualizations when you go to pull the data onto your report. It also helps to affect the behavior of what happens in the interaction of visualizations. Once that's done, we can go and have fun by dragging fields onto our canvas, picking the visualizations that we want, and making it look the the way that we want it to look. And then after all that's done, go ahead and publish it to Power BI. And then once it's in Power BI, we can add it to a dashboard and then share that out with our organization. Okay, that was just a quick look at how you can get up and running in Power BI. Ideally, you should just be able to open up Power BI Desktop, import some data, maybe adjust a few data types, drag those fields on your canvas, create those visualizations, and then publish it to Power BI. Also, check out the Power BI documentation. We've got a lot of tutorials in there, and we also talk about some of the basic concepts of what Power BI is and how it works. Works. If this is your first time here, go ahead and subscribe. Every Tuesday I take a look at a feature or a troubleshooting item or just a concept and share that out with you. Every Thursday I take a look at the last week and find items that I thought were interesting and share that out with you as well. And really this is about you. I want to help you be more successful and effective in the work that you do. So go ahead and subscribe and be part of the conversation.